Hello artists, how are you today? Stephanie Oni coming to you from the banks of the Trinity River here near Willow Creek, California. Oz and I welcome you to the studio. Very happy you are here with us today. Thanks for coming back to build a doodle. Okay, so this is the fifth flower build um, video project. We've had a lot of fun in the last two weeks just playing with different doodles and making them into artwork. I have loved doing these and I think they've turned out really cool. Um, and I hope you guys have enjoyed the projects. Um, if you're following along, definitely please share with me over on Messy Hand Band of Artists on Facebook. That's our Facebook group. We have all skill levels. There is a great mentorship and camaraderie between our art, our, 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 um, between the artists, and that is what we always try to cultivate. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, please comment, like, share, subscribe, all of those great things. If you can add it to a playlist, it does help immensely. If you can support the channel, I would really appreciate it. If you could jump on over to Patreon, your contribution does help, and for less than two mocha chocolatios, two Starbucks probably is around 12 bucks a month. And um, for $10 a month, you could really make a difference in order to allow me to continue to bring you daily content. Okay, guys, I hope you have a great day. All right, artists, I think for our inspiration today, we're going to do this one. And this is a little bit more complex, but we have been building up to it um, throughout the week. So um, I think that we can handle this one. It's not that different from this guy, um, but uh, our other option that I liked was this one here. Now this one has a lot more line work, a very small image, sorry about that, but um, there's a lot more line work on here and uh, if you want to do something like this, absolutely 100% go ahead. Find an image that inspires you. All right, that's what's important. Since I only have, you know, under 20, under a half hour to show you uh, how to do these, um, I want to make sure that I can give you a, a composition within that time frame. So I think what I'm gonna do here is we're taking our inspiration. Just remember that, guys. We're not copying. Here is just water in a spray bottle. You should know that but you might not. And we're just gonna put, go right into our um, yellows. I'm just getting a good, nice background color down. And I'm actually, you know, well, let's see, do I wanna do that? I kinda wanna do that, but do I wanna do that? Let's just grab a little bit of blue. see what we can make here. I'm just going for something interesting. That isn't too dark. Mm, that's not where I want that. Let's bring in colors. Let's just grab some of that red. They definitely dry brushed it on there. Here I'm going to put wet on it. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm going to try playing with the neo colors again. We have a strong center. We have flower petals radiating out from that center.
All right. And let's see what we can do here. These are very beautiful purples and rusty colors. Let's make sure we have a towel. Need a smaller brush.
All right, artist, I think that I am done with this guy. Um, <laughs> well, I, you know, definitely went in and did my own style in the background. And I think my style definitely has a lot more color in the splatters. If that's not your style, you know, do it however it makes you happy. This is why we're learning, why we're playing and experimenting is so that you can figure out what works best for you. Here we used a thinner line, here we used a thicker line, here we didn't use any of the gel pens, we just used the, um, the Neo Colors? No, the Ink Tents. Here we used just a gel pen, and here we used a fine, fine line. So all of these different techniques give us a different look to our work. And that's the great thing about having different types of products to use and to play with. So I hope you enjoyed this week's adventure in Build-A-Doodle. I know that we did two weeks worth of flowers, um, but I think it was really worth it to just kind of explore the colors a little bit more. Now, other things that you could have used are things like um, alcohol inks and the circles and then doing the doodling over the top of it. I just wanted to keep it within the products that we're already using. So, okay guys, I hope you have a great day and I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to comment. Let me know what you think. Um, let me know if I'm in the right direction with how we want to build this program of building a doodle. And next week, I believe we're going to work on some trees. All right. Love you guys. We'll chat soon.